given a golf lesson to a student in a very short space of time who has kind of changed everything about their swing and has ended up leaving with a shorter, more powerful swing. So I'm going to explain exactly what we did in the lesson to you guys as well so that you can start implementing it. Now, the first things first is I would suggest when you next practice that you understand you're trying to define the length of your backswing by the position of your lead upper arm. Okay, so what the student was doing, very typical of many amateur golfers, is they'll go, oh, this is my top and my backswing position, but the lead arm is getting to about horizontal. Okay, so from this position, all that happens is you create a cast or you get really narrow and really stuck. So we don't want that. So what I said to the golfer is I said, well, okay, what I want you to do is I want you to swing back, lead hand only, okay, and I want you to feel like you're pushing your arm towards the wall to the side of us here. And he kind of did this sort of motion. And then I said, I want you to put your right hand on the club now in a position where it feels like it's helping you push the club further to the wall. We did that. And then we brought the club back to the beginning. And what we noticed is that the position of the arm completely changed. The lesson here with the grip is functionality over just being orthodox. So the student thought, I've got to see two knuckles and sit the right hand on top. And all this was doing is this was kind of making the arm bend. What we did, and this is what you guys need to do, is you need to make sure when you're holding the club that you can see your forearm. Your forearm should be relatively forward facing. So that means that the right hand sits more underneath, as I'm demonstrating here, okay? And then from there, you see, you're gonna find it much easier to use your right hand to push the left arm away from you or your lead arm away from you, okay? Now, for most golfers, and you included, that'll feel shorter, but it's wider. And that means the lever is longer, which means it's more powerful. So not this, this, this is where we want to be. Now, what I then try and say to golfers is to get out of this habit of just hitting it with sort of bent arms, is I'll say, look, I now want you to keep your arms straight in the through swing as well. So you change your grip position, you go here, like so. And golfers do that, and they start to visually become encouraged by how it looks. The problem is, is it doesn't gain any more distance. And not until I say this to them. So what I'll then say is I want you to get your arms up to the ceiling. And you imagine this bucket, you can imagine it's a ball. If I asked you to throw the ball, keeping your arms straight, like so, you might only be able to get it so far. But if I then said to you, I want you to throw it up as high as you can into the sky, you would do this. And this is where your power really comes from. And that's your rotation, okay? So if you just move your arms like so, you'll be able to keep them straight, but it won't be very functional. And that's why you'll always have this sort of temptation to sort of pull down on the handle and finish this way to try and whip it through. We don't want that. What I want you to do is get your arms up to the sky. And getting your arms up to the sky will basically help you trigger more rotation, better extension through the ball, and generate more club head speed. And this is exactly what started to happen. So we took a golfer, or I took a golfer who, right hand on top, bent arms, and then sort of stay down looking like so to somebody who very quickly understood the right arm should sit more underneath, you should keep it wider, and then get up with high hands. See where I am here? Get those hands high, triggers better rotation, and that's how you can go from having a long, bent, lacking power swing into a shorter, more powerful golf swing. It's a big lesson. Practice it. Get that feeling of those high hands as you swing through, because that's really that sort of speed merchant that you're all missing here. High hands. See you soon.